Hello, everyone. I'm Xu Chuan from Fuda University, and I'm here to introduce our paper, Smart, a high-performance adaptive radix tree for disaggregating memory. This is a joint work from Fuda University, Huawei Cloud, and the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Disaggregating memory is an increasingly popular architecture in academia and industry. It physically separates the computing and memory resource into two pools and interconnect them with faster networks, such as the RDMA network. In the DM architecture, each compute node owns many CPU cores but only has a small amount of memory. In contrast, each memory node has abandoned memory but only owns a few CPU cores. Since the CPUs and memory resource are no longer coupled together, resource on DN can be located arbitrarily, providing better resource utilization and elasticity. Chain index are fundamental building block of many applications. Among them, the two most commonly used chain index are the Bplot tree and the Radix tree. For each internal node, the Bplot tree needs to store entire keys while the Radix tree stores partial keys. For each leaf node, the Bplot tree stores multiple key value items together, while the Radix tree only stores one single key value item. Existing tree index on DM are based on the Bplot trees. However, the Bplot tree can bring severe read and write amplification issues on DM. Specifically, when a client read or write a key value item in a Bplot tree, it needs to search the tree by traversing many internal nodes, which contains many useless keys and pointers. Besides, with optimization, the client needs to read or write the entire leaf node, which store multiple key value items together. This amplifies the network bandwidth consumptions and will exacerbate the network bandwidth bottleneck of the DM architecture. We conduct a theoretical analysis on the read and write amplification factors of tree index on DM. When internal nodes are cached, the read and write amplification factor of the Bplot tree is about 32, which is the span size of the leaf node that we assume in our analysis. Sherman is the state-of-the-art Bplot tree design on DM. It avoids the write amplification issues by using the entry-level versions to protect each key value item. However, it still suffers from the large read amplification issues. As for the Radix tree, since its leaf node contains only one single key value item, it has almost no read or write amplifications. So it is natural for us to come up with the idea of using the Radix tree to build a chain index on DM. However, three challenges should be addressed before the Radix tree become a high-performance practical solution on DM. The first challenge is the expensive log-based concurrency control. Is this in Radix tree adopt cost grant log-based algorithm to perform concurrency control? However, Remote lock operations are expensive on DM and leads to poor write performance. The second challenge is the bounding memory size ILPS. The RDMA network interface card in the memory pool of DM have bounding ILPS. As the Radix tree introduces small size read and write operations, it situates at the ILPS upper bound of the RNX. Many of these operations are redundant when multiple clients from the same computer node concurrently traverse the tree. These redundant read and write IOs will waste the limited IOPS, increase the concurrency conflict, and thus decrease the peak throughput of the Radix tree. The third challenge is the complicated computing side cache validation. Chain index on DM usually adopt computing side caches to reduce access latency. For each computer node, the remote structural modification from other computer nodes will outdate the local caches, leading to the cache invalidation problem. And a common optimization of the Radix tree, such as the cache path compression, adapting nodes, will further complicate the cache validation design. 
In summary, three challenges should be addressed to achieve a high-performance relic tree on DM, which are the expensive lobby concurrency control, the bounding memory size IOPS, and the complicated computing side cache validation. We propose SMART, a disaggregated memory-friendly adaptive relic tree to solve this problem. Including a hybrid concurrency control, a redelegation and right combining technique, and a reverse tri mechanism. The first design of SMART is the hybrid concurrency control. Let's look at the internal node design of the current state of the R Reddit tree. It stores partial keys and tri pointers separately, and thus needs to lock the entire node to modify each partial key and its corresponding tri pointer at the same time. SMART proposed a lock-free internal node design to solve this problem. The key idea is embedding each partial key and its corresponding tri pointer into an A-byte slot, which can be modified atomically via the RDMA compare and store operation. Besides, we fix the header size to 8 by 2 which can also be modified atomically. Now let's look at the leaf node design. Existing Redux tree updates the leaf node out of place, which will change the leaf, the leaf node address frequently. As the computing side caches usually store the leaf node address, the autoplay update scheme will cause the cache thrashing problem on DM. Smart proposed a log based leaf node design and adopt the in place update scheme to solve this problem. We design a real embedding log to solve the rewrite -right conflict. Specifically, we place the log at the rear of each leaf node and combine the log release operation with the writing back of the leaf node, leveraging the in order delivery property of the RNX. Besides, we adopt a checksum based method to solve the read write conflict. When a writer modifies the leaf node, it recalculates and updates the checksum. The reader will verify the checksum after reading the leaf node. The second design of SMART is the redelegation and write combining technique. Let's look at the reading scene first. When several clients read the same key from the same computer node, they conduct identical tree search. This introduces redundant read IOs and will await the limited IOPS of the memory nodes. SMART proposed a redelegation technique to solve this problem. The key idea is choosing a delegation client on each computer node to excuse the same read and share its real result with other waiting clients. Specifically, we use local logs to collect the concurrent reads. The first client who acquired the corresponding local log successfully will become the delegation client and conduct a remote tree search. Other clients will push themselves into a waiting queue to wait for the read result from the first client. The writing thing is similar. When several clients write to the same key from the same computer node, they, conduct, uh, they are synchronized by the same remote log. This increases the remote concurrency conflict and will introduce redundant write IOs. SMART proposed the write combining technique to solve this problem. The key idea is combining this write into a local write combining buffer. The first client writes its expected value into the local buffer and then conducts the remote log acquirement. Other clients write their expected value into the local buffer too and then push themselves into the waiting queue to wait for the completion of the remote write. The first client will read the combined consensus result from the local buffer and then conduct the remote write and release the remote log. Like the redelegation, we use the local logs to collect the concurrent writes. The last design of SMART is the reverse chain mechanism. The remote structural modification from other computer nodes will update the local caches, leading to the cache invalidation problem of the Reddit tree. SMART proposed a reverse chain mechanism to solve this problem. The key idea is storing chain information in each remote node. When the client reads a remote node according to a cache pointer, a mismatch between the chain information and the cache content indicates an outdated cache entry. For example, the adjustments on the parent-child relationship of remote nodes is a common cache invalidation situation in Redix trees. 
In this case, we store a reverse pointer in the front of each node to point to its parent. When a client reads a remote node, it checks whether the reverse address is equal to the node address cached in the cache entry. If not, it indicates that the remote parent-child relationship has changed and the cache entry is outdated. Due to time limit, please refer to our paper for more design details. We evaluate SMART uh, under the YSSB workload of both integer and string key type. We use the CAMSAM cluster on Cloud Lab to conduct all our experiments. We set up 16 compute nodes and two memory nodes in total. We compare SMART with Sherman, the state-of-the-art B plus design on DM. We also compare SMART with ART, the state-of-the-art Redix tree design that we port to DM. These figures show the super latency curves of the, of the three tree index and the different YSSB workload of integer kits. In total, compared with Sherman, SMART can reach up to 6.1 times higher throughput and 1.4 times lower latency under the right intensive work workload. Besides, SMART can also reach up to 2.8 times higher throughput under the read-only workload. We conduct a factor analysis for SMART design. We start with the ART design and apply each proposed technique one by one. The log for internal node design can bring 1.5 times improvement under the YSSB insert workload since it avoids the expensive cost grant lock. The update in place leaf node design can bring 1.5 times improvement under the YSSB B workload since it avoids the cache thrashing problem. The real embedding lock design can bring three times improvement under the YSSB A workload since it combines the lock release operation with the writing back of the leaf node and thus reduces the access latency. The redelegation technique can bring 1.1 times improvement under the YSSB C workload since it reduces the redundant read IOs. And the right combining technique can bring further 1.1 times improvement under the YSSB A workload since it reduced the redundant write IOs. In conclusion, existing tree index on DM are based on B plus tree, which suffer from large inherent read and write amplifications. In this paper, we propose SMART, a high performance adaptive radix tree for disaggregating memory. Our experiment showed that SMART can outperform the state-of-the-art B plus tree on DM by up to 6.1 times under the write intensive workload and 2.8 times under the read-only workload. And thank you for your listening.